Rainbow Flag Genocide versus MAGA Hat Genocide. Notes from the Edge of the Narrative Matrix. Kamala Harris has enthusiastically accepted the endorsement of Dick Cheney. The degree of comfort U.S. liberals have with men like Cheney is more evidence that they don't view people in the global south as fully human. If they did, his endorsement would be rejected with the same revulsion they'd show endorsements from NAMBLA or neo-Nazis. The emotional comfort they receive from all this warm, cozy talk about unity between Democrats and Bush-era war criminals matters more to them than the lives of millions of Iraqis. Any political ideology that's worth a damn necessarily includes a deep and visceral hatred of Dick Cheney and an abhorrence toward any ideology which sympathizes with him. American democracy means getting to choose between genocide wearing a MAGA hat and genocide waving a rainbow flag. Mark my words, the same people telling you Harris is the better vote to save Gaza will make all kinds of excuses for her when she becomes president and you point out that she isn't saving Gaza. Happened with Trump, happened with Obama. Same shtick over and over again. A uh, new rule. I'm just going to ignore anyone who tries to tell me Trump will do things if re-elected that he didn't do the first time he was president. If you say he's going to end the wars and fight the deep state, I'm ignoring that. If you say he's going to turn America into a Nazi dictatorship where LGBT people are kept in concentration camps, I'm ignoring that. If he was going to do those things, he would have done them. Trump said a lot of offensive things and received a lot of incendiary coverage, but in terms of actual policy and governance, he was a standard shitty Republican. His actual administration was very similar to that of his predecessors, and was evil not in some new way, but in all the same ways those prior administrations were evil. If you need to concoct some weird fantasy that goes against all the evidence of his previous term in office to defend your position, your position is too weak to deserve attention. I talk about the U.S. election not because I think it matters, but to stress the fact that it doesn't. This fake charade that consumes all political oxygen every four years will result in no meaningful changes to the behavior of the globe-spanning empire centralized around Washington. So long as Americans are looking to their electoral system to address the murderousness, tyranny, and injustice of their government, the murderousness, tyranny, and injustice will continue. The first step to escaping from a burning building is to stop pushing on the fake fire exit that's been painted on the wall. These fake elections are there to keep you trapped in the burning building. The real exit lies elsewhere. A tweet from the account holding Dems accountable from the left says, It's very simple. Republicans keep endorsing Kamala Harris because she is campaigning on Republican policies. Comment from Caitlin. The existence of Donald Trump allows both Republicans and Democrats to drag the political spectrum far to the right of where it used to be. Now, instead of health care pleas, Americans are arguing over which genocidal tyrant might murder fewer people. Next month will mark the one-year anniversary of October 7th, that terrible day when more than a thousand people were brutally massacred in southern Israel by Israeli helicopters and Israeli tanks, and also by Hamas a bit. A new poll says 70% of Jewish Israelis think it should be forbidden to express any sympathy for civilians in Gaza on social media platforms. Israel will murder, oppress, and steal from an ethnic group they've designated as less than human for 75 years, cry victim when that group retaliates, commit genocide in response to the retaliation, and then say you should be forcefully banned from criticizing them for this. Can't wait till things calm down in the Middle East so I can stop getting accused of being an anti-Semite and go back to the old wholesome accusations of being a Russian agent. <laughs>